Dusk falls upon the quiet town of Ravenwood, the descendants of restless spirits begin to stir. The town, shrouded in age-old mysteries, comes alive with uninvited guests from the beyond. Even today, tales are told of travelers and locals seeing ghostly apparitions in the most unexpected of places. The old deserted inn, the ancient graveyard that whispers echoes of the past, and the chilling woods teeming with shadowy silhouettes. The icy wind that sweeps through the town carries with it an eerie sensation, as if countless voices are trying to tell their forgotten tales. One chilling winter, a visitor to Ravenwood decided to stay at the abandoned inn. The night was wrapped in a strange silence, broken only by the creaking of the old wooden boards under his feet. Suddenly, he felt an icy breath against his neck and a spectral figure materialized before him. Its hollow eyes seemed to tell a story of untold sorrow and eternal torment. The figure pointed towards the cemetery and then vanished as mysteriously as it had appeared, leaving behind an air of dread. As the man dared to venture towards the cemetery, he was met with whispers of forgotten names. Each step he took echoed the tragic tales of lost souls. The trees of the adjacent woods stood as silent overseas, watching over a town cursed to live with its deceased. His harrowing journey through Ravenwood had affirmed the haunted lore. In here, you're never alone. Ghosts of the yesteryears still roam those desolate streets, bound to their old world by the chains of unsettled scores. It was supposed to be my escape, a chance at a new life in the old Ravenwood manor. High atop the rolling hills, surrounded by the never-ending forests, it was a sight to behold, a gothic masterpiece left for ages. I had dreams of bringing the manor back to life, of erasing the signs of decay and filling its vast, ancient rooms with laughter and love. Yet from the moment my foot crossed the manor's threshold, I sensed a malevolent presence. Whispers of icy wind through the cracks, fleeting shadows out of the corner of my eyes, and the cold touch of spectral caresses on the back of my neck became the norm. Pictures moved, objects disappeared, and the scent of aged lavender would swirl in the air without warning. Desperate to rationalize the phenomenon, I dug into the house history, discovering a tale of tragic love, betrayal, and an untimely death that was as much a part of the manor as its foundations. Here in Ravenwood Manor, the past was not content to rest. It reveled, refusing to be silenced or forgotten. As I laid in bed one fateful night, a spectral figure, trapped in the throes of her last moments, appeared before me the woman's tormented wails echoing through the dimly lit room as her gaze met mine. I knew then that I was not the owner of the manor, but a guest in the everlasting drama unfolding within its haunted halls. Bye. 